Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, footies is just different. It's not exactly how we thought it was going to be at all. As EA changed everything yesterday, instead of it all being around SBC's objectives, it is now more focused around the cards and packs being the best versions of footies. And unfortunately, we are not very happy about it. It feels like this whole promo and the premise of footies and all the fun that it used to be about is ruined and a lot of people are frustrated and disappointed with it so we're going to talk about that in today's video and also talk about the hope for it actually getting better still because there is still a lot of hope to be had for sbc's and content that will come out during this promo so we will start all that off by talking about yesterday's content but if you're enjoying the videos on the channel drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's start with the objectives and guys there was so much hype and anticipation for footies every single year because of what the promo has always been and it just didn't get delivered in that same way we did have a cup that was dropped yesterday five games a day just like the standard copy and paste cups we have had recently there is xp as a part of it so make sure you at least play five matches to get that xp 85 times 10 is a reward not bad uh, also we had the robin goosens footies card again not bad it's not a premium item which would be nice we love the premium items they just look better the chemistry is way better of course uh this one also has some xp inside of it so make sure you get that done nothing too much to complain about right there right um again goosens not bad especially if you need some syria links uh, decent card right there for sure and the footies cup hey some more fodder and of course right now with the best of that's going to be in packs fodder cards are very very prevalent now we'll go to sbc's and talk about the hyunmin sun which actually we'll go to the we'll go to the team because we completed hyunmin sun almost right away yesterday and oh my goodness is this card absolutely insane four games of foot champs and 12 goals for me he's absolutely a beast i love the five star five star and this is probably a bright spot for me of content yesterday the price in this sbc yeah, it's a little steep. I feel it, right? I mean, 650k is what the price is showing as right now, which seems to be rising. I guess fodder's going up a bit for a couple of reasons, uh, which we'll talk about during the video today when we get into the market segment. Um, but that's, you know, it came out right away at about a 500,000 coin SBC, and I was like, okay, it's not too bad. At 600k, it seems a little bit steep, but guys, I'm telling you, he's very, very good in game. If you don't get it done right away, it's definitely a good SBC to craft. Love that it is a premium item. I wish it had striker position change, but that's just me being a little bit picky, but uh, that's a pretty solid player SBC for day one. Now, yesterday, we also had the daily footies challenge, which usually for daily SBCs, we get like an 81 double or something like that, right? They gave us a daily mega pack SBC, which I'm definitely not complaining about. I mean, the SBC challenge looks difficult right off the bat. So if you see it and you're kind of, I guess, uh, like put off by the fact that it requires 30 chemistry, like I was, basically all you have to do is use players from one nation. Now, I will say right now, that is causing a lot of players on the market to go up in value on that low tier uh, meta. I think like French, French right mids maybe, and a lot of other French cards are like up like crazy, especially golds, right? Yeah, I think it has to be golds because you need golds for the SBC, I believe. And a lot of these are, are selling for really high prices. 2200 there for the cheapest French right mid on the game. So check your club for a few things here or there. Yeah, these guys are all 3K. A lot of random cards are going for a lot because of that SBC. And it's only going to keep getting worse because this SBC is available for a whole entire week and we could do it once a day but it's not bad technically if you have the cards from your club it is easy to get a nice mega pack out of that Premier League summer series for a tifo and then also the footies best of batch one player pick which we talked about in yesterday's video we expected it to drop and it did and unfortunately guys as we're going to talk about i mean yes this sbc is decent but i mean we already have one big fault of the footies promo from last year showing up this year with this SBC as well. They required a team of the week player and an 84 rated squad, which when you first think about it for this SBC, doesn't sound too bad, right? But then you go and you take a look on the market uh, that there are no team of the week cards being supplied right now via the best of uh, like there was last year. I'm pretty sure there was team of the week cards and best of batch one last year during footies. All team of the week cards right now are 29 thousand coins these guys have of course exploded because people want the chance at packing those team of the year icons and those best of players that are in packs in that player pick and the informs have absolutely skyrocketed and ea have not supplied them so 
that is a crazy thing that we're having right now with a lot of prices going up on the inform side of the market it was not expected because i figured there would at least be a handful of informs that would still be in the best of but there was not and also the tradable team of the week upgrade goes away in five days ea is going to have to uh, refresh this year pretty soon if you need an inform card i would say try to do the regular untradable 81 plus upgrade because it's a little bit cheaper you can do it once a day and that will give you an inform if you really need to do that for the footies batch one player pick it is fun to do but guys most of all what i've seen from this are like winter wild cards the centurions cards and it is such a gamble now we'll talk about the best stuff that is in packs what are you chasing after with this ea decided to go with a pdf this year instead of the google sheet that they've been using for the past multiple years they're going for the pdf and uh, guys right away when we saw this we were just kind of underwhelmed uh the promo cards that they went with I'm thinking that basically every single one of these promo teams is almost before team of the year. I don't remember when Centurions were dropped. That might have been after team of the year, but there's so many winter wild cards, team of the year, honorable mentions. There's a couple of those. Um, and then the, the rule breakers, bro. I am so tired of packing rule breakers already. And it's only day one and there's no team of the years in these packs right now there's no team of the years guys all that we have are team of the year icons as the top tier cards to chase that are in packs so yes guys like dino vandersar and hullet are in packs right now which is cool but at the same time this is worse than last year on so many different levels the sbcs are worse than last year because we had two player picks last year we had a better cup last year we had more player objectives last year and in my opinion better cards and packs and this year it just feels like this whole entire footies promo is a step down they didn't even include anything like trophy titans or future stars foot birthday foot fantasies right i mean i guess those are going to be included in batch two but the worst part about this is this batch of players which again we were talking about it on stream how is ea going to advertise a once to watch mane as one of the best players in packs in late july when that card has been in this game since the start of the year that is mind-blowing to me boggling my mind right now i'm just it, it doesn't make sense ea what are you doing man there needs to be better cards and packs it's july okay i don't care that this is the footies promo and it's going to level up for 14 days these cards are going to be in packs and that's crazy that that is the level of cards that are in packs right now it is not good but i'm guessing ea did that because they put footies cards in packs as well and this was the big change with footies that everybody is talking about of course if i would i would love to go show you the christian ronaldo uh footies card on the market right now but unfortunately it is nowhere to be found it is extinct and we were all excited for a ronaldo footies card yesterday because we in our minds had always thought of footies cards as sbcs and literally guys this tweet right here from foot sheriff uh changed everything about the promo even after it came out or a little bit before it came out he tweeted this and we were talking about what's in packs and what's not in packs we knew right there and and then that this promo was gonna end up being a bit of an l right cr7 being in packs now this cristiano ronaldo that we saw from the loading screen we saw from the leaks that foot sheriff had put out our expectations were that this was going to be an sbc maybe not even that he was going to be a 99 rated card right but our expectations were we were going to get a ronaldo sbc after we saw the foot sheriff leak because footies is all about SBC promos and then all of a sudden our dreams are crushed and we have a extinct unaffordable Ronaldo that is now um you know 15 million coins extinct uh not on the market we have a lot of other cards in packs as well the Joe Gomez which is a really insane card but a million coins for this imagine this were to be dropped as an SBC like this would be the end game content that we won in SBCs guys but instead it is in packs Julian Alvarez cracked card five star five star Di Maria absolutely insane card two and a half million coins for that item Ben Acer is nice for a 264,000 coin price um cost that's really good for that card right there Jensen Fernandez is a premium item for 113k the cheapest one that is in packs right now guys the cards that are in packs are actually really really nice but those are the type of players that we were hoping to get via this footies promo and the types of players that we have gotten in previous years of footies as SBCs and that's why everybody's disappointed right now because we all thought we were going to get these cards as SBCs and be able to grind them, craft them, get them into our ultimate teams in that way, which is so much more guaranteed and so much easier 
than having the coins to go out and buy them on the market. It makes us just feel like EA ru ruined the footies promo because everything has just become like a money grab, right? It's like, wow, EA is really just all about uh, the pack sales and all about selling packs and making money instead of actually letting us have fun in the end game. That's the biggest disappointment that I think most people on this game have right now. And that's just the feeling that we get, right? And it's very unfortunate because we were hoping to grind, right? We were hoping to get these good players and be able to like transform our ultimate teams to a whole new and different level like we do every single year during the end game. And I guess it's just guys, it's going to look a little different this year. Footies is going to look different. Now, the, the lone bright spot, like I said, is the Hyunmin Sun because that's a really nice player. I mean, this Hyunmin Sun, with Alvarez being 2.1 million coins and Di Maria being 2.5 million coins, you compare their stats to Hyunmin Sun's stats. If this card was on the market, I mean, today with the way these cards are priced, that one would probably be over a million coins on its own. So the fact that this is five, 600K, I like that. And I think that that does give us some promise of really good cards upcoming. But one thing that I'm worried about right now is I just watched this man score a 93rd minute free kick for the win in his MLS debut. And especially me, I know a lot of you guys as well, would love a 99 rated Messi card. It feels like we have to get a 99 rated Messi after we get a 99 rated Ronaldo. It would only make sense. But now this card's probably not going to be an SBC and it's going to be on the market for 15 million coins and I'm not going to be able to afford it, which sucks, man. And that's the most disappointing part about this promo once again is the impacts part of it instead of it all being through SBCs and objectives like footies of old. So let me know down in the comments what you guys are feeling, especially with the batch one being here for two weeks, it being underwhelming and with these cards being in packs, EA has got to step, step it up. EA's got to step it up today, all right? They need to step it up big time because uh, we need the content to keep rolling. There cannot be a letdown today on Saturday because we're already a little bit disappointed because we expected more out of footies. This is just one of the more fun times on the year anyway. And guys, I think there are ways that EA can turn it down or turn it around. Like we said, with the SBCs today, hopefully we're getting a new player SBC, but also we still have something in that it's not come out yet that we're waiting to see um, that, uh, you know, could bring a really needed aspect to this promo is footies heroes. Now, probably going to be in SBCs and in packs as well. If we've got cards in packs, I would imagine there's going to be footies heroes in packs. As we go down the line, I'm assuming there's going to be new cards for footies in packs every week. So like next Friday, right? Team one of footies goes out of packs next Friday, but the batch one of players with like Dino and Pirlo that will stay in packs for another week. We'll have to see. Um, how that goes, but we might be getting some footies via SBCs or in packs here pretty soon. But let's talk about today, right? Let's talk about today on Saturday, and then we'll talk about the market a lot at the end because there's a lot to talk about with that. But today on Saturday, what I'm looking forward to the most is another footies SBC. And if they're going to drop SBCs, they got to drop premium players as well, right? Premium players with the links are so key and crucial to making an SBC a little bit more hyped. Even if it's a player like Hyunmin Sun who's in the Premier League, he just doesn't have that more common of a nation. Uh, that's probably why they gave him the premium. Just make every single footies SBC a premium just so that it makes it easier for squad building and the card design just looks way better anyway. So just drop them all as premium ZA. So watch out for a player SBC today and also we have ourselves another icon pack hopefully coming today. And guys, since we saw a brand new icon pick added into the season progress, do we think there's a chance today that EA would finally get rid of prime icons from the icon player picks and packs that we have in this game? Do we think there's a possibility that they will go ahead and do that and instead uh, release a one of three or a one of four 90 plus pick that would just include promo icons, including shapeshifters? I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for that because I think there's a little bit of potential, not a lot of potential, but a little bit. We just need something different in the plain old 90 plus with primes that we have been getting. So watch out for that today because the 90 plus that we have had in the past week is expiring. I hope it's just not a control C, control V of that SBC. And if we do get a really hyped brand new 
icon pack today i would tell you guys to look at fodder now fodder right now as we said some of it is going up a little bit i think it's the team of the week cards it's some of the team of the seasons going up in value that is increasing some of that like Hyunmin Sun uh, price on the market. And some of your like 92s, 93s, 94s uh, are going up a little bit as well. Like 50K for 94s besides Cavani. Like those cards definitely have risen a little bit. Even like your 90s and your 91s, they're up a little bit in value. So that is taking some of these prices upwards and making fodder go up. If we get an icon pack today, some of the stuff is probably going to go up even more. What I would tell you to do is look out for 88s i think 87s 88s if you're going for an icon pack those probably have the best opportunity to move a decent amount um and these yesterday went from about 13k down to like 10 or 11 and i would say 10 or 11k for 88s is probably pretty good if you can get them there maybe if you look at 87s at like 9k if those are actual prices that might not be too bad but again that 80 uh four rated squad requirement as a part of the player pick i think that's going to end up moving 83s 84s and 85s you see 83s are already up a little bit already i think 83s could end up going to like 1003 1500 coins this week so that's not a crazy rise there but i think that part of the fodder market could be moving and if we do get another icon pack today there would definitely definitely be some potential for uh, that fodder to be moving up. Hopefully we get some of that today. Other than that, I'm really not sure what it's going to be like today on Saturday. It might not be that crazy of a day unless we get a really good player SBC. Now, for the end of the video, we got to talk about the market. Now, I didn't trade a ton yesterday on the market. I bought and sold a couple of cards. I lost a few coins, also made some coins and sold some cards too early. Now, like we talked about yesterday on stream with the content being what it was and with people being disappointed this is one thing that we can learn right now in this game that happens a lot during the year on uh, ultimate team and with the market is when the content that is released on any given friday is not good people run straight back to the cards that they were just using and they go and buy those for weekend league to complete objectives or to just keep grinding on the game look at this right there was so much panic yesterday right before the start of footies because we all thought it was going to be an absolute banging day of content and sbcs martinelli's level up card from team two went from 980,000 coins 900k all the way to 575 but when people saw where the content was they said nah I'm going back out to the market, even though Martinelli is in the same position and league as the Hyunmin Sun card that was dropped, people said, nah, I'm going back out to this game to buy level up cards to go and grind. That's how bad content was yesterday for some people. It was worse than level up, which is a promo that people were complaining about for the last two weeks because they didn't want to grind that much at this stage of the year. And this guy Martinelli went from 575k all the way back to 900,000 coins absolutely insane Goretzka was down bad he's up a bunch Varan literally went up a million coins guys Varan was 4.2 mil he was all the way at 5.2 look at this 4.4 he was definitely 4.2 I saw that price he went all the way back to 5.2 5.3 million coins crazy rise there and even on some of the level up team one cards they were at their minimum prices Kevin De Bruyne this uh, objective set is no longer there for KDB this card has no value except for just being a 98 rated card on the market the best version of KDB on the market he was at 1 million coins flat yesterday at his literal minimum price of 1.02 you can see on the flipping graphs here, he was just stuck there. And now the rarity has hit. People are back out buying these cards just to use them. And he's back up. Alfonso Davies from 80 to 120,000 coins. The Renato Sanchez that I even bought and sold too early, he's up to 745,000 coins. Enzo Fernandez was 50K, guys. He's 112. These cards are absolutely exploding in value across the out of packs market because the content was not good what are some other examples schweinsteiger was 1.4 he's now 1.75 million coins i traded with anthony martial bought him for um what did i buy him for like 670 or something sold him at 780 he went all the way to 900 de Jong's up 400 000 coins Eto is up like 200k uh even neuer richarlison zaha zaha was 170 he's 235 all of these cards team of the season cards musiala 
Uh, we talked about this in yesterday's video as well. We knew some cards were going to bounce back, but I didn't expect it to be at all like this. Musiala was 400k, 390. He went all the way to 520, 530k where he is now. What a rise that we have there. Um, like everything from the most recent promo cards just absolutely exploded. Mares, 880k. The ultimate Tots cards. Uh, since there were no team of the years re-released in packs, Messi, Mbappe, um, Militao, all of those different cards. Jude Bellingham went roaring back in price on the market after yesterday's content was just so disappointing. Look, 860,000 uh, coins on Militao all the way to 1.07. So that's kind of where the market is right now. And I would say this, guys, I really do believe that uh, with the way the content is, with the stuff that is in packs, yes, it's very um, unfortunate and a lot of people are disappointed. And uh, it's creating an opportunity for maybe for some of you guys to sell cards that you maybe had in your team um, that uh, are now up in value a little bit. Because honestly, guys, this is probably going to be the highest point of the market uh, for the rest of the entire year with all this insane buyback that has happened in the past couple of days, especially for the, some of these Tots cards and Team of the Years that in a couple weeks eventually will get re-released back into packs. From now through this weekend, maybe even into next week, I would say that a lot of these prices, especially on the Tots cards that keep getting supplied every single day, uh, these might be some of the highest prices that we see now until the end of the year. So if you're a little bit coin conscious, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, but man, yeah, yesterday it was absolutely crazy uh, watching those prices move every which way if you did trade it all yesterday if you time stuff right you made an absolute crazy amount of coins now i will say this uh with like the joe gomez um and with the let's say ben Aster, definitely these guys are going to have some movements today i'm tempted to watch the joe gomez because this in my opinion is one of the best center backs in the game um apart from his acceleration what does he have like 88 acceleration yeah 88 acceleration but 99 sprint speed he is super lengthy um, and this just to me, like I would want to try this card out. I don't know about you guys, but this is a cracked looking card. So keep an eye on these guys. They're very rare, right? They have that going for them. That means they could be decently good to trade with some good fluctuations today. And then of course the cards that were re-released into packs, team of the year, Vander Sar, um, I believe was 1.2, 1.3 million coins. And now he is like 600 K for a lot of these cards. Like even Centurion Zlatan was re-released back into packs. These cards, if you want to try them out. Out, try them out but do not hold on to them they're in packs for two weeks Zlatan right away went from 800k down to 290 he went back to 400 but he's probably going to end up being you're not going to believe me when I say this but this Zlatan card is probably going to end up being like 75 to 80,000 coins in like two weeks from now or three weeks from now after he goes out of packs because he's just going to get packed over and over and over for the next two weeks in this game especially as the pack weight um, is just very heavy on the Centurions cards it seems so that was kind of the unfortunate day of footies yesterday but i'm still going to give footies a couple of chances because guys i mean it's still footies they said there's going to be premiums there's going to be heroes there's going to be a lot of SBCs and objectives so hopefully there is more good stuff coming on this game and it's not just all um just an l because of what happened yesterday and kind of just not delivering on the expectations that we had but footies is always a good promo so hopefully ea can bring it back with some good stuff today on saturday and of course throughout this next week but if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below how you're feeling about footies i want to hear your guys opinions i want to hear your thoughts and all that but if you're new around here as well hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's been nate the foot account and catch you guys there peace